New study found a popular zero calorie sweetener is linked to an increased risk of heart attack and stroke. The sweetener is often used by people on diets like keto because of its reduced calories. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit looks into the new health concerns of this type of sugar. A sugar replacement called erythritol is mixed into popular sweeteners like stevia and truvia and can be found in a range of foods and drinks. It's about 70% as sweet as sugar, you know? Um, so, so you're getting the same, almost the same amount of sweetness with, with less calories. Certified dietitian Trey Smith works with military personnel and civilians on improving their nutrition. He tells me erythritol has rapidly grown in popularity in recent years, especially in keto products. One of the things I do is, is I talk about supplementation. And, you know, as, I, as I'm looking at some of the things that we give our, our guys here, um, one of the things is, a, is a, it's a Quest bar. It's a, it's a Quest nutrition bar, protein bar, which contains erythritol. Products containing erythritol are often recommended for people who are at higher risk for heart disease who are looking for options to help manage their sugar or calorie intake. But a new study found that people with higher levels of erythritol in their blood were at elevated risk of experiencing a heart attack, stroke, or death. Research shows that erythritol appears to be causing blood platelets to clot more easily. Of course, worry about it blocking off an artery in the heart or blood clots that can travel to the brain and cause a stroke. So you don't want this random blood clots happening. Experts say more research is needed, but there are healthy alternatives like honey. A little packet of this in their coffee in the morning, it may not be that worrisome, but if you're using large amounts in recipes or you're finding yourself using a lot of this on a daily basis, it may be time to maybe reduce that. Doctors say if you use erythritol, don't panic, but you should try to reduce artificial and regular sugar in your diet until more research is done. Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.